Hey, Austin, you know, I think you were one of four nuggets to play more than 40 minutes last night. I'm just curious what the physical toll was uh, in a game like that and, and just sort of what would it felt like at practice today? Oh, we haven't practiced yet. We're about to head over uh, in a little bit, but, um, you know, we're all a little bit sore, but, you know, I feel like that's everybody in the playoffs right now. So for anybody that's playing a lot, so you just kind of just get through it and you get your treatment and you just get ready for the next day. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Austin, I know uh, Dame had an incredible night last night and, and you had a funny post on Instagram just uh, kind of highlighting just how how incredible that that game was uh, to the point of praying to the Lord. Uh, what What is it like trying to keep a clear head during a scenario like that where, where a guy's going off and it, it just feels like how, however many players you throw at him, it's just not really helping. You know, uh, it, you know, it's, it's always a challenge um, guarding, you know, the better players in the league. Um, but it's something I love to do. And, um, you know, last night was fun, actually. It wasn't fun him making all those shots, but uh, the challenge is always fun going against a guy like that. It just elevates your game. Um, and last night he had one of those nights where it just felt like no matter what you did, he was going to score the basketball. Um, we were trying everything. Um, and where he shoots from. It's just abnormal. There's only one other guy in the league that does what he does, and that's Steph. Um, so they're they're both in a different category in terms of shooting off the dribble from three, and uh, that you know it's very difficult to guard when they get going like that. So um, I'm proud of our team, though, that we were able to will through that and uh, continue to win that game. Christos Saltas, SDNA Greece. Hello, Austin. Hope you're doing well. What would you like to carry on from game five to game six in Portland? And how important for you to be at the aggressors for another one game and setting the tone from the first minute, as you said, as you did it in game five? Uh, well, I'm continuing to come out to a good start. Um, and uh, I think for us, understanding that they're going to make runs and us continuing just to play basketball. You know, they have too many good scores, uh, so they're going to play um, high level basketball at times and make tough shots. We just, just have to continue to play, you know, the way that we like to play. So, um, I think that's what we got to continue to carry over from our last game to this one. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Hi Austin, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Austin, how do you handle the pressure of having to try to close out the series against Damian Lillard and the 10,000 fans that will be at the Mora Center tomorrow? I mean, uh, it's, it's going to be a total team effort. Um, we're all going to have to be locked in. And um, obviously, the assignment against Damian is going to be tough, but it always has been and it always will be. He's just uh, that level of a player. Um, and I just got to continue to try to make it as difficult as possible. Um, and then, uh, you know, yeah, just have help. Because, uh, you know, Aaron's going to have times where he's going to be guarding him as well. Um, so. It's going to be a total team effort in terms of trying to stop him. And then on offense, we got to continue to do what we do. You know, we attack too. You know, we feel like they can guard us in a lot of ways. And we try to exploit that um, the same way that they try to do with us. You know, our guards feel like we can score and get whatever we want as well. So, um, and obviously we, we feel like with Jokic on the floor, uh, you know, it's, it's, he's always finding the right, the right person. Um, it's very easy to play with him. So uh, that's what we're focused on. It's not just about stopping one man. You know what I mean? We're also focused on what we do, too. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Hey, Austin, you were on the court for that uh, that pass. Nicola had his last assist to, to Mike in the corner, where he just kind of lofted it over a couple defenders. I don't know if you went back and watched the replay or if you could get a sense when you were just on the court, but could you get a feel for just how difficult uh, – that that pass was to make and <clears throat> how Nicole was able to fit that in such a tight window. Oh, I didn't realize how difficult it was at the time. Um, sometimes you just kind of get lost in thinking the stuff that he does is normal because he does it so consistently uh, making passes like that. So you don't think any, you know, nothing of it. And then you see a replay of it after the game and the way he just floats it perfectly over everybody's fingers, across his body, across the court with ease on target every time and he makes that pass like four or five times a game and he'll apologize when it, when it's off target he'll come up to him and apologize 
this guy is ridiculous, man. Um, so yeah, it's it's it was it was a, an amazing pass, and then you know Michael's one of the best shooters in the league. He does he does what he does. If he gets a shot off, it's it always looks good. Vinny Benedetto. <laughs> Hey, Austin, how, how confident are you that the mindset going into game six will be better than it was going into game four? And is there and what kind of things can you can you do to make sure that's the case? I mean, every every game is a new life. So we're not even trying to compare, you know, game six to game four, you know, last game to this game. We knew we know tomorrow is going to be a new game of its own. But no matter what, we have to stick to what we do on defense and stick to what we do on offense, play the way we want to play. And if we do that, no matter what, we feel like we have a chance to win the game. So we just got to continue to focus on what we do. You know what I mean? And not even think about the atmosphere or how many points this guy's going to score or this run they might go on. We just got to focus on us. You just on Nuggets basketball and what we're doing right now. And, you know, obviously playing through the big fella and everybody being aggressive uh, around him and uh, on defense being uh, a unit. You know what I mean? That's what we're focused on. All right. We got time for one more. We're going to end with Matt Moore from the Action Network. I got it. It's 259, bro. Uh, yeah, I, know, I know. We got a meeting at three. Huh? All right. What's up? What's up? Yeah, Austin, just real quick. In your experience, this kind of game, game six, coming off of a, a tight game five, what are you expecting for game six? Is this the spot where the Blazers are going to come out with something extra because it's their last game on the home floor? Is it something where you guys know that you've got, you've got the edge? What's the mental kind of edge going into game six? I mean, our, our, we don't have an edge. I mean, our, I, we have the same goals in this to win the series. You know, they're a playoff tested team, so we know they're not going to go down easy. Our expectations is that this is going to be another battle like, you know, like last game. Everybody has to be ready to go. All right, that'll do it. Thank you all. I appreciate all. Thank you.